1990, the world was introduced to Pennywise the Dancing Clown in the original It miniseries that ran on television. Now, 27 years later, just like in the book, this clown has returned to feed on the fear of children, only this time on the big screen. It is directed by Andy Muschietti and of course once again follows the Losers Club as they band together to defeat an evil child-eating clown known as Pennywise. Now if you saw my a review of the original 1990s miniseries you'll know that I actually kind of enjoy half of it and I think the other half is borderline unwatchable. So this is actually one of the very rare cases where I was looking forward to a remake because I think that there is actually a lot of good changes that could be made for the better. And I think it's important when you're remaking something that you obviously need to take out the bad, keep the good, but also change it up a bit to where it feels updated and fresh. Now part of the reason that I enjoy the first half so much more than the second half is because of the Losers Club. And thankfully with this new film, the entirety of the movie is focused on these kids. There's not one flash forward to them as adults with their problems that you could not care less about or anything like that. So that's automatically a step forward in the right direction. I thought all of the actors and actresses that played the members of the Losers Club did an excellent job. Uniformly, I think that they were all very funny. Almost all of their jokes landed, which I was very surprised about. And it's actually proving really difficult to pick a standout in this movie as far as the children go because they all did such a good job. And I also appreciated that the kids in the Losers Club actually act and sound like kids their age. So the kids work. That's great. That's awesome. That's incredibly important. But... None of that would matter if the clown sucks. Now, Bill Skarsgård does actually have a lot to live up to because Tim Curry's performance in the original It is pretty legendary and by far the best part. So it's going to be an uphill battle to try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this iconic performance. Thankfully, Bill Skarsgård does not try to do an impression of Tim Curry. Everything that he brings to this movie is fresh and original. Not that it's better or worse, it's just totally different. I think with Tim Curry's performance, he doesn't have a lot to work with as far as special effects are considered, where obviously with the new movie there is a lot more that he is able to do with the special effects which at times was incredibly creepy and very effective. Specifically one scene involving a carousel slide projector, oh my gosh, I have not been that frightened in a horror movie in a very long time. In fact, almost all of the scares in this movie are extremely well done and that's of course attributed to the magnificent directing that this film had. This director has also worked worked on Mama, which I was not crazy about, but I'm glad to see that he is taking the steps to become a better director, specifically with horror. And because of this movie, I feel like he is going to get a lot of screenplays on his desk, and a lot of people are going to be begging him to direct their horror movie because he does such an excellent job with this movie. Now, throughout this entire movie, there was really only one scare that I thought was very stupid, and it's involving a pill and a leper of sorts. I don't know, I just didn't think it worked at all in the movie, and and it just came way out of left field. And it mostly just came off as silly. Now even though I loved this movie and I was very pleased to see what they were able to improve on, I'm still not 100% convinced that the follow up to this movie will be any better than the original. Because even with the miniseries, my problem wasn't necessarily the first half with the Losers Club, but when they were adults. But because this movie was as good as it was, I'm gonna try to remain as optimistic as possible. So I hope that the part two of this film is significantly better than the original, which shouldn't be that hard because it is awful. I strongly encourage all of you to go see this movie, especially if you are a fan of horror. This is one of the best movies of the year. It has heart, excellent performances, and most importantly, it's scary as hell hell. So did you guys see it? What did you think about it? How do you compare it to the original 1990s miniseries? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click a link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movies, movie-related things. And guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.